Hey Cupcakes, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another BoxyCharm video for you guys. Um, I wanted to film this earlier in the month, but I was really, really sick and I'm still really sick. So if I seem like sad or just like down in the gutter in this video, it's because um, I have an infection in my ribs, my lungs, whatever. I've been coughing for two weeks. I'm just like in a lot of pain right now, but I need to get this video up for you guys. <laughs> As you can see, I have no makeup on my face right now, and that's because the first thing in this box is this Luminizer Primer by Dr. Brandt. This little card says Rock 2018, and then it comes with another little card that shows the ingredients for this primer. And this retails for $38. Okay, so it's kind of like this beige color. Just gonna dot it. Oh, I don't know why I'm red right here. So it smells like... I don't know, it smells like some type of plant. It's a little bit sticky. Um, but it's not too bad. I just like more of that silicone feel that the MAC Prep and Prime gives me. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply my foundation and concealer and I'll be right back. Okay, foundation and concealer is on. Next thing in the box is is this Bronze and Brighton palette by Pure or Her. This retails for $34. Oh, and I was actually happy to see this primer in the box because I am in need of a primer. And I've just been using that little sample one of the MAC Pepper Prime. So I'll probably be using this. Ooh. Okay, so this is what the palette looks like. It has a bronzer, highlighter, and a blush. Alright, just looking at this, this looks super shimmering and looks so pretty. Actually has a good size mirror too. Um, and I'm probably going to take this on the go just because it has highlighter, bronzer, and a blush. Alright, now let's take my bronzing brush. Whoa, very, very pigmented. I'm usually not too fond of shimmery bronzers, but I really like the shade of this bronzer. And look at that. The pigment on this is amazing. So a little bit does go a long way. I'm just like barely tapping my brush. In the palette and it's super pigmented it's a little bit like too dark for me it's okay we're gonna make it work contour my nose Now moving on to blush, I'm actually going to use the blush brush that they gave me in the last BoxyCharm box. Feeling really pale in this area. I'm just going to run my bronzing brush um, very lightly down these other parts of my face because this bronzer is really, really pigmented. I'm just going to set my face with some setting spray and then use my little highlighter brush to apply this highlighter. This highlighter is actually really subtle. Gives a nice glow if you can see it on the temples of my forehead. But you can definitely build it up like I did here on my cheeks. God damn! I'm like Rudolph up in here. With 
that's all for that palette right now. I'm going to move on to the brows. And they actually gave me a brow power by IT Cosmetics. Ooh, okay. Let's see. Ooh. So it has two sides. This side is a spoolie. And then this side is just like a scrolly uppy thingy. It's a little bit light for me and it's not drawing on as smoothly. But we're gonna try it out. It's kind of weird. It's like a light color and then it gets a little bit darker. I'm not the biggest fan of brow pencils. I usually like using a dip brow, but I think that the brow pencils are actually really good for when you're on the run and don't have time to do it. Just keep it in your purse and, oh, they're good for touch-ups too, but you can just keep it in your purse and do your brows in your car. Okay, I actually thought this color was too light, but it actually looks pretty close to my color, but I'm just like not a fan, like I said, of brow pencils just because it doesn't give me as crisp of a look as I want it to so maybe I need to conceal them as well but I'll definitely bring this in my purse oh I forgot to tell you how much this retails for this retails for $24 which I mean is kind of expensive for me I pay $18 for the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade, and that lasts me a pretty long time. If I scroll all this all the way up, I hope it doesn't break. <laughs> this is all the product that you're getting for $24. Um, so I don't think it's worth it. I'm just going to conceal my brows a little bit because they're looking a little messy. time for the eyes and they actually gave me an eyeshadow palette which is really exciting considering I only paid $21 for this box um, and this is the glam metals eyeshadow palette from crown Ooh, look at these colors I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them first so I'm gonna swatch them I'll do like this from top to bottom top to bottom bottom oh it's really creamy I don't own any crown eyeshadows so I'm pretty excited to use these Ooh, that orange is beautiful These colors are so pretty. So these are all pretty much shimmery colors. Even the mattes have a tiny bit of shimmer to it. I really want to use this orange. So I think for the crease, I'm going to use probably a combination of this one, this one, and this one. My camera died, so I just went ahead and finished this eye. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut the crease, and I'm using my MAC Studio Finish Concealer. To set that concealer, I'm going to take that orange shade with a flat brush, and I'm going to spray this with some setting spray, and just tap on the product. Next, I'm taking a little tapered brush and going in to this black right here. And I'm going to apply that to the outer V of my eye. And blend that in with the orange. 
Also going a little bit in the crease as well. I'm gonna take my little concealer brush again and just carve this out so it's like a cat eye. Next, I'm going in with my flat brush again into this color right here, applying that to my bottom lash line. And I'm taking Punk, just applying it to the first half of my bottom lash line. And then I'm taking some of that black metal again, switching to a detailed brush. Last shade I'm picking up is this pop rock color for the inner corner. It's not as bright as I want it to, so I'm going back into my Bronze and Brighten palette into the highlighter. Before I coat my lashes and apply some falsies, the last thing in the box is this lip paint, this matte lip paint by Girl Lactic. Ooh, it's this pretty pink. Feels really creamy and buttery. Gonna go ahead and finish the eyes and then I'll be right back. I just put on my lashes and this is the final look. But I forgot to give you guys the price of the lip paint which was $23. And actually... I'm really loving this color and it dried down to a matte but it still feels really light and um, like not as dry as the ultra matte lipsticks from ColourPop. It feels like I'm wearing a like satin lipstick but I don't know it just feels super lightweight like it doesn't feel like I'm wearing a lipstick really. A really light layer of something on my lips and it doesn't feel drying at all. Um, let's see if it transfers. Just a tiny tiny bit but not too bad so I'm really digging this lipstick but this is the final look Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Stay caked, stay fierce, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!